The DJI Pocket 2 is quickly becoming one of my favorite action cameras for filming cycling videos and filming cycling vlogs. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite settings, my favorite mounting options, and the best ways to get the best video with this awesome camera. And in today's video, we're having my awesome wife, Tunshan, helping me out film today's shots. So big thanks to her. Let's go ahead and get started with today's ride. Let's go. Let's go. So today we're out here on our road bikes here in Eastern Nagoya, Japan. And this is my road bike here. This is Tunchan's road bike here. And also we have the special limited edition Sunset White of the Pocket 2, but it's the exact same camera as the black one. So whether you have the black camera or you have the white camera, the advice we have in today's video should be exactly the same. We also have the do it all handle, which extends down here and allows you to plug in a microphone which is really useful, but I actually prefer to not have that on when I'm filming my cycling videos. So in today's video, we're gonna be using these accessories, just a basic backpack, and we're gonna be testing different mounts. So we're gonna be testing the backpack mount. I have two different options here. So some of these accessories were sent over to us by PGY Tech for us to review, and we're really excited. We started out using this backpack mount, and this one's really simple. This one's just a Velcro strap, and unfortunately this one slides up and down on the backpack strap, so it wasn't very good, and we can't change the angle. And this one, it's a little bit more expensive, but this one clamps down really tight, it has different adjustment levels, and it also allows you to change the angle here if you need to. So this has been a really awesome upgrade. We'll be showing this up and close once we start doing that test. And it has this really nice and convenient closing pin for the GoPro accessory mounts. So we'll be doing the backpack test. We're also going to be doing a on bike test. I normally prefer to film action camera videos on body mounts rather than on bike mounts. And that's because on bike, you get a lot more vibrations, but this one gives us a lot of different options for mounting on different parts of the bike. So on the handlebars or a different part of the frame. So we'll be testing this one out as well. And also we got this awesome case here, which carries all of our cameras. So we like to carry a lot of equipment. We've got space here for our Pocket 2. We've got space here for our new GoPro Hero 10, some different spare batteries. Uh, this is our new wireless microphone that we're testing out. And it has a bunch of different compartments here. Really nice, clean setup, and this fits perfectly in our backpack. So this is really convenient, and Chunchan really likes that case. And the last mount we're gonna be using today is the GoPro chest mount. This is what we use all the time for our normal cycling videos with our GoPro action camera. So we're of course gonna be testing this out with the Pocket 2. The most important thing with the Pocket 2 though is how you're going to be attaching these to all these different accessories because normally there isn't a special GoPro mount on this camera. So we actually use this special adapter here. This is another product from PGY Tech. I think this is only like 10 or 15 bucks, but totally worth it. The pocket accessories, they have this part here that slides off, you just push it off and you can put in different accessories here. So this accessory, it has a cold shoe mount and it also has a GoPro universal mount option. So you can just plug it into the camera like that and then we can mount it on the chest mount or any other mount that uses a standard GoPro mount. So this is how we're gonna be mounting all of our options today. We've got a lot of questions on how we mount it. And this is the solution we're using. When you look at it, it does look a little bit worrying. So I wouldn't do this for like extreme sports, but for standard road riding and walking around and stuff like that, it's not been an issue at all. But you do got to be careful and realize that this is plastic and you're putting the life of your camera on a piece that could potentially break. Um, I haven't had any issues, but I don't want to give you guys advice um, without a clear warning that that is a possibility. But so far, no problems for me. And we're going to be continuing using this setup. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the first test. We're gonna be starting with the GoPro chest mount since we've already got that attached right now. I'll leave some timestamps down below so you can skip to the part that you wanna see and which mount you wanna check out. The other advice I have when you do this is always get in your center position. And when you're in that position, you want to center lock the camera. So you can do that by clicking this button here down on the bottom right two times and that'll automatically recenter the camera. I also like to keep it on tilt lock mode so that way um, it doesn't move around when you're moving up and down and it keeps everything nice and level. So this will be my setting moving forward. Let's go. Okay, here we are on the DJI Pocket 2 on the chest mount. The nice thing about this setup is you can walk freely. And so I'm walking right now. How's the stabilization on the camera? It's gonna be a little bit loud because we're on cycling shoes right now, but. Anyway, we're at Morikoto Park right now. They have a beautiful cycling course. We came here to ride at the course, but unfortunately they're repaving parts of the road. So it's closed right now. That's okay though. 
The other thing I really love about this camera is the panning. So when you turn, it's not really like a sudden turn. It slowly goes with you and you get nice movements. So let's get on the bike. And the other nice thing is I don't have to change the angle. So when I'm on the chest mount, uh, when I'm on the GoPro, I need to always actively change the angle and make sure it's filming in a good direction. But with this one, we don't have any issues. It automatically adjusts the level. So it looks like they're undergoing a lot of construction here right now, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll try going to some different routes, show you guys some new areas. There's actually a university over here and oh man, it looks like everyone's getting out of class right now. So actually let's head down this way. Let's go down this hill. We just climbed up this way, uh, but it's a really nice view, especially right now with the sunset. We get a nice view of the city. So the one problem I have with this camera though, is it does tend to like blow out the sky. So it just becomes like all white. Uh, sometimes it's really beautiful. Sometimes it just, yeah, becomes all white. It really depends on, I think the, the settings and everything. Um, but yeah, we got a little bit of sun behind the clouds right here. And oh, it's weird right now. There's like sections of clouds and sections where it's sunny. So strange weather today, but that's the other good point about this camera is I think it does really well in different lighting situations compared to the GoPro. So the GoPro does really well in sunny settings only, um, but once it starts getting dark, the GoPro just turns to, uh, it just <laughs> turns into unusable footage really quickly. Whereas this one, even if it's dark, if it's bright, it looks really good. Um, I think the GoPro does a little bit better in really bright footage compared to this one, but in really dark footage, this camera does a thousand times better. The other thing with the chest mount is you get your arms in the shot. Some people really like this because it gives a nice perspective. Um, like, so if you're riding an indoor trainer, it feels like you're riding along with the bike and everything. So let's do some quick turning with this mount. So let's see how well it adapts. So I did a quick little turn here. We're gonna go back this way and show you some of this section. So here's the mascots for Morikoto Park. A massive park, a lot of cool facilities back there, but yeah, some people prefer having the arms in the shot. Obviously with the GoPro, you get the wider angle, so you're gonna get a much wider shot and you get more arms in the shot. This one, I think. The other nice thing about the setup is you get the preview screen. So I can actually look down and I can see exactly what's in the shot. So I can crouch down a little bit here. If you adjust the angle, you can get something like this, uh, which some people really like, and you can manually do that. So I'm gonna just pop the angle down a little bit. So we get a nice view of my hands while riding. So yeah, you can reset your center point on this camera to exactly whatever you want it to be. Um, I don't like going down too low though, cause you're gonna miss out on what's ahead. So if you can find that nice balance, that'll be really good. This is a new suburb area over here. So freshly built new houses. I think a lot of these are still empty or maybe some of them are model houses. And compared to the pocket one, which we have, uh, the pocket two just has a nice wider lens so you can get a lot more in the screen. You can see a lot more, really cool. This is actually a good area for our test. I think we're gonna stick around here and film some of the other shots. And let's ride exactly directly behind Tunchan. So um, I'm basically just a few feet away from Tunchan's wheel. This is the perspective that we get. So normally we're riding together and we ride pretty close, so we would be getting the shot. But if we get a little bit of distance, a coco migi. If we get a little bit of distance, this is what we'll be like. A coco de tomate. Migi. And here we are, a little rest area. We got a nice fresh bathroom. It looks like no one's ever used this place. Wow. And we got a nice little rest area. So let's change the mount here. Let's go on to our next test. Tung wants to get some water. Is it active right now? You got to be careful with these Japanese water fountains. These things just spray straight up. Oh. 
<笑>あもっと見せて高くいや、if you accidentally just like open that all the way that thing's gonna spray straight up into your face I learned that lesson the hard way when I first moved here and for our next mount we're gonna be testing out the backpack mount so you can use any backpack the more stable the more thick of a strap here that you have the better it'll be but you can see this one's really flimsy and it still works perfectly fine so this is the old one I have this is a velcro strap and it doesn't work that great because you have to have something that supports it so for example once it's attached you can see it moves up and down so luckily on my backpack we have some different pieces here which stop it from moving so it allows it to get in good place here without moving but if that's not the angle that you want you won't have any control with that and that's where this awesome mount comes into play so i've been really loving this one so far and the reason for that is because this one gives you full control so if you want a higher angle you can just mount it on here and you just put it in the center wherever you want it make sure it's in place and you can use this lever close it on one of these latches and then it just closes down like that really easy to use it also has this really cool pin system which is similar to the GoPro pin systems but instead of having to screw it a bunch until it gets tight this one just has a lock mode so you just put it in turn it close it and then it's locked so it's basically like a key it's a lot simpler to use than the other GoPro mounts I wish all GoPro accessories actually use this accessory it's really simple really nice to use and so here we go we've got two different options um, but for today's video I'm going to be using this one because it's by far better you can change the angle of this if you need to um, you can just do it by pushing it and it's not so loose that it'll just move automatically with the camera so you have to put some force into it to move it around so you can get it exactly in the setting that you want it in and yeah really awesome mount here so let's get started with the next test all right and this is what the camera looks like on the backpack mount so this one's really nice really stealth i still have the chest mount on um, but i can take this off which is nice because it gives a lot more breathability while riding so in the summer months you only have to worry about the backpack on your back and you have your whole open part of this chest area open you can unzip your jersey if you need to so recently this has become my new favorite way to film cycling videos not having to deal with the chest mount is amazing and you're going to see exactly why let's go ahead and check out the footage let's get started testing out this style let's go let's go <laughs> Tunchan likes me copying her style so here we are we're on the pocket two again and same thing with the chest mount we can walk around with this setup and I think we still get some decent quality footage for this obviously it's not going to be exactly quite as good as like holding it handheld because your hand is like a gimbal of sorts um, but it's not too bad for the walking footage anyway let's go ahead and get on the bikes let's spin around this neighborhood and see how this looks this guy over here is on a weed whacking mission so let's try and get away from him let's get some more quiet peaceful audio but yeah looks like a cute little town area it's almost like a suburb of sorts oh wow there's a little drop over here and looks like they still got some plots of land over here so one big difference with this angle is you have to be careful that it is pointing forward so it is good to like recenter it and maybe adjust it to the right if you can yeah so it may not be exactly as on center as the chest mount but you can adjust that angle as much as you need to to get it to look good and the other big difference is you're not going to have your hands in the shot anymore so uh, <laughs> some people commented and saying it looks like a floating orb of sorts and it kind of does like it's like it's just flying along with you like a drone so you get some nice beautiful uh, perfect shots and I really like the view of the shots especially in certain situations compared to the GoPro because it does have a little bit of depth of field so you get some focus on some items whereas you get some blur on some items in the background so if something comes in focus whereas the GoPro it just keeps everything in focus which I really like that look at times but sometimes I don't like it I'm actually over this way this is part of the cycling course let's try sneaking over this way I don't think we can get on there but maybe we can see uh, some part of it yeah so this is it this is where we were planning to ride to film today's video but unfortunately we weren't able to do that I've never been to this section so this is actually really cool coming over here I wonder if they have an entrance to get into the park from here it doesn't look like it 
That's too bad. The gate off the whole park. But yeah, this is the option that I'm most excited about because we do a lot of cycling videos, we do a lot of travel videos, so we're always carrying our backpack. And if I can get rid of the chest mount and I can just strap this on my backpack, I can quickly grab it because we've got the, the quick attachment here so we can take it off if I need to go handheld. Uh, so I can walk around with the backpack, I can cycle, I can do everything. It's just really quick transition, so it's really awesome. And the other nice thing, since it's on the backpack, is I can adjust the angle. So if I need to adjust it to the right, I can just grab it a little bit. I can change the angle, show the right side. Um, I can't really do that with the chest mount or the GoPro. I try to, it doesn't look that great, but this one, it's really easy with the, the straps of the backpack. So I can focus on exactly what I wanna show you guys. And yeah, this is one of my favorite ways to film right now. We have gotten some comments from you guys. Some of you guys really miss the arms. You like having the arms in the shots. And yeah, I think we're gonna be mixing back and forth for like serious cycling videos. We'll stick with the GoPro with the arms in the shot, but for like slow kind of like touring kind of rides, I think we're gonna stick with this style because this just allows us to focus on what we wanna show you guys. Whereas the ride videos, we're focused more on the ride. So I think it depends on what we wanna film. So this is really cool. Okay, and for our last test today, we're gonna to be doing an on-bike test. So this is freely adjustable. We can adjust it to different handlebar sizes, and I'm just gonna put it on here over the handlebar grip. Maybe we can get some extra vibration protection there. This just loosens up, and I'm gonna point it forward a little bit, and then we'll clamp it down, get it fairly tight to the point where it won't move. I don't think you need to go super tight, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And the cool thing about this one is it all tightens down on this one clamp. So you have a ball adjuster here, you have another ball adjuster here. So you have free control over the angle on what angle you wanna show. So you can get some really nice adjustments. This has the GoPro universal adapter here, but you can also plug in a quarter inch adapter. It comes with that in the box, but I mostly use action cameras, so I'm just using this one today. So I'm gonna point it just like this, tighten everything down, make sure it's secure. Okay, and let's put the camera on here. So it's the same lock adjuster as the last one. We just push it in, turn it, lock it, and it's ready to go. You wanna make sure you have access to the button. So actually, uh, this is my first time using this. So let's change some of the settings here. Let's make this a little bit easier to use. So I want this one to be more forward like this. And that way I want to be able to see the preview screen. So that's why I want it facing this direction. So for me, I think this looks pretty good. Okay, that's feeling nice and secure. And this way I can still push the button to record. Let's turn this on, let's see how this looks. The other trick with the Pocket 2 is if you use the power button on the right side, it'll turn on this way. But let's turn that off again. But, and if you turn it on with the bottom right button, so let's push that one, it'll turn on and face forward. So quick pro tip, if you're always filming facing forward, you can use that button for a quick turn on without having to flip the camera. That'll save you a few seconds. So here we go. This is what the setup is looking like. It's a little bit in front of the handlebars. I think we should be able to get some really cool footage with this. But again, I wouldn't go on any rough roads with this because I'm not sure how secure this adapter is. I haven't had any problems with it, but I don't want to take any chances. Uh, just in case it does drop, this camera isn't as durable as a GoPro. So that is one of the negative points. Um, but yeah, this actually looks kind of a little bit dorky, but it looks kind of cool, I think. Kore kakui? Mm-hmm. Honto? Yeah. Dasai jana? No. No? Kakui? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yes. You are cool. What did you say? What did you say? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, your new helmet is cool. Yeah. Yes. We just got yeah. some new helmets. Thumbs up if you like Tunchan's new helmet. Not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored. I bought. I bought. Okay, let's go on our final test, on bike test. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, here we are with the on bike mount. First test. We're on some nice smooth roads right now. So I think this, the main difference with this one and the backpack mount is we'll be getting a little bit lower of a perspective here. So we should get a nice lower angle. Let's get closer to Tuanshan to test that out. Uh, the disadvantage though with this is I don't have any free control of the angle. So of course, if I change my my handlebar position, we can change that angle. 
So the movement is a little bit different compared to the backpack mount and the chest mount. Uh, here we are going over some bumps. How shaky is that? Action cameras tend to pick up a lot of vibration when you're on the bike. Nothing against this mount. It's not the mount's fault. It's mainly just because bikes have a lot of vibrations. Okay, that's it for our final test. I can finally take off this nasty chest mount. If you've ever filmed with one of these, you know how good it is of a feeling to take this off at the end of the ride. So that's the nice thing about these accessories is it doesn't rely on you having to wear this awkward and hot chest mount. Um, I especially love the backpack mount. We're gonna do one last little accessory I wanna show you guys. Okay, so let's open our magic accessory box. We've got two inch on here. This is the really nice camera case that we got sent over from PGY Tech. So here in the back side, we've got an extra compartment in the back and let's get our lenses. So this is another fun little accessory we got. This is from Freewell. And so this is a nice assortment of the anamorphic lens and also the wide angle lens. So that's what we want to test right now. So it's a magnetized case. It also comes with some ND filters, but it's a little bit cloudy right now. I don't think we're going to need these. Okay, here we are. We've got the normal field of view with the DJI Pocket 2. This is about as wide as it gets. Let's see how different that is when we put on this wide angle lens. This is magnetized, so it just pops right into place on top of the lens. And there we go. Do you guys notice any difference? So I noticed we get a lot more flags here on the left side. That looks a lot better. And we don't get any quality loss from what I've noted so far. So we've actually filmed a few cycling videos with this so far. But again, you don't want to go on too rough of trails because there is a chance this might drop. So always be careful when you're using it. And let's go back to our normal field of view. And yeah, we don't see really any of those flags anymore. So a huge difference with that. Anyway, let us know what you guys thought of today's test, what you guys think of the DJI Pocket 2, and if there's any other tests you'd like to see. That's it for today's video. There'll be links of all the products we used in today's video down in the description box. So go check those out if you're interested. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon who help support our channel so we can continue filming more cycling videos like this. We really appreciate your guys' support. And also a special thank you to our clothing sponsor, Santic, who provides us with all of our cycling gear. And we really love their stuff. It looks really good, especially on Toon Chan. Not so much on me. Uh, Toon just got some new gloves. She's really excited about these. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you next time here on Tubo Cruise. Bye -bye.